Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to a continuation of our Let's Player Sid Meier Civilization V as Montezuma of the Aztecs. Not to be confused with Monty Zoomer, the famous thrower of the Orc team, the Brussels Stouts in Blood Bowl, which I'm sure all of you are a huge fan of. So, um, we've got a handful of units kicking around still that we've got to clean up. Last couple episodes were really good. It was a little while since I played, but I'm pretty sure that uh, I can jump right back into everything exactly where we should be. So we're starting combustion, which is great. We can start getting some tanks, which is awesome. We've got radar for the advanced planes, which is exactly where I want to go. Obviously, we're still working a little bit on happiness. Uh, yeah, I started building the, uh, the Kremlin in Texcoco. Some people pointed out I think I may have sunk some hammers into the Kremlin in, uh, Tenochtitlan at some point. Tenochtitlan. I don't know. I like the middle part. So, um, so I should really just rename all these cities. <laughs> so, we've got uh, Gatling guns and bombs and things like that. We definitely want to move on Thebes, although we can't quite yet. We would still have to fix the, the happiness problem, generally speaking. Uh, really want to keep working on the tourism and, of course, build some units. So, we're, we're good. We don't have to jump right into a war, which actually is a pretty nice change. We're still leading pretty well. We're still selling these uh, luxuries at an incredible discount, so we'll do that. A lot of people have pointed out that maybe prioritizing grabbing cobble earlier would have been smart because it could burn off some of the warmonger um, negativity. I don't know. Would it really eliminate all of it? Hey, we got a great engineer. Actually, I might sink that one directly into... Um, how can I create great profit? Oh, that's a holy site. Derp. Um, we want to convert Wittenberg. I believe we have a quest for that. We can no longer build pagodas for free. So... Um... Just remind me later, we might actually want to build, because the missionaries are again very expensive, we might want to get another great profit. I'm um, not sure exactly what our conversion plans are. Uh, actually, we should convert Honolulu. That's what we should do. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, and it'll be, actually, that will be very easy to do with an Inquisitor. Remember when I had an Inquisitor and then I canceled him? Yeah, I remember that. Uh, a few Hindus still there. So, let's go ahead and pop out an Inquisitor. It will be cheaper than a Great Prophet. Although I can get more use of the Great Prophet. Because one Great Prophet will convert the city completely and then I can convert some other things. But you know what? Then... Because getting Great Prophet will increase the cost. I'll get one Inquisitor for Honolulu and then we'll probably go back for some Great Prophets. So, great person. I'm seriously thinking of adding the hammers. 577. We currently have... Actually, that will not be overkill. I like the idea very much. Is there something else I would rather rush? Um, maybe the castle. Ooh, yeah, because this helps us get our military going faster. Um, the Kremlin. Um, I hate that you can't mouse over the Kremlin there in the previous screen. Right, we get the free social policy. I don't think anyone is be going to beat us to it. And we're not rushing to armor units. In fact, we're going to be building planes a little bit faster. Uh, I think getting the castle up and running is actually the number one priority, so we will move the engineer. Who is our great engineer, anyway? Charles Stark Draper. I don't know who that is. Hmm, makes me think of Don Draper from Mad Men, but that's a little bit different. Okay, another stadium has finished. We're still at zero happiness. We could start building the bombers here, which is possibly not a bad idea. Um, airports for airdrops and stuff are very cool. Can I think we can airdrop anywhere from one airport to another? Hey, let's tour from this city. Um, we probably want one Texcoco. No, Texcoco's got to start building military units. So, actually, it makes a fair number of sense, a fair amount of sense, that, um, that, uh, either Hafriyat or Tlaxcala build the airport, because it's close to Texcoco. A uh, Huacan wouldn't be bad either. It's actually a little bit more central, which is nice. It matters a little bit less once we get the railroads going to be honest, because the uh, the tr speed to traverse the empire overall will be pretty good. What are we doing here in terms of culture? We've actually got a handful of it. We've got some great works kicking around in here, so you know what? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and build the airport here. So we can produce the units in Texcoco, that way it doesn't have to spend any time building the airport, and we can put them here, and then transport them over um, to Heliopolis, where we will build an airport after this hotel. I'm actually going to queue it up, because that way I will not forget. Um, that is a long time, to the point where I think I might start on the airport first. I will actually do that. We can delay the uh, the uh, hotel. It's not going to kill us, I think. We're going to be okay. Does it sound... Okay, I just had my own volume low. Of course, we still can't have music, because YouTube. 
So 661 hammers, boom, we're going to finish off that uh, the castle. And then I guess we will build castles everywhere to get some happiness. Now some of the cities were already at their happy limit. Singapore declares war on Shaka, all right, uh, because Egypt is at war, which is fine. Uh, demand tribute from Zanzibar, which is not currently in the cards. Um, it is, oh, we probably have to wait a turn for Wittenberg to recognize that it is now Hindu. And we're going to just convert Wellington just for the heck of it. We don't actually have a mission for it. And uh, Wittenberg has the mission, and that's it. Sophia does, but it was a little far away. Yeah, I was just doing this just for religious pressure on our side, so we can keep up the tithes, I think, mostly. Because we still need the money. We're getting a decent amount of money right now, actually. If we could break the, um, the whole problem where we have uh, an embargo against us, it'll be quite nice. Um, yeah, we'll move this up to the front. We'll have to upgrade these units soon enough. I want to keep the money in my pocket for now, just in case we can respond to some emergencies. Yes, I will do that sale, even though it's much better for them than me. The Prora has been built, and I think that's okay. Egypt and Korea making research agreements, which is sort of annoying. Yes, we spread there. We forgot, we finished the Neutschwenstein. So it is a beautiful castle. I really like to visit this one day. I'm sure it's a huge, like, tourist insanity place, but um, it's pretty good. And we get some decent amount of money. I mean, it helps by itself. Holy crap, 24 happiness. You know what I think that means? I think that means that we are, yes, we are no longer in civil resistance. We have dropped to dissidents because we have flipped some culture somewhere. Egypt now considers to, to be uh, exotic. And I believe that the opposite is true indeed so what we did is we canceled out the negative crap coming from them uh polynesia we're getting very very close we're not even rising slowly anymore we're just like properly rising which is good okay so this gives you the influential number it sucks i would actually like to be told what the next level is like exotic in x number of turns and influential in y number of turns or something like that uh babylon is also um still a bit of a problem but uh they're they're both rising babylon's rising slowly uh, but Polynesia, of course, much faster because they don't have a whole lot of stuff left there. And uh, the Huns we are familiar with, which is, uh, yeah, which is all right. Um, so, yes, auto wake up when things happen. You have converted that, which is lovely. And um, more religious pressure. I think actually fla flipping the capital over here would be quite nice. Now, a lot of people are saying that great prophets do not lose strength in enemy borders, uh, with even without open borders. And I didn't think that was true. I think people are, are lying to me, but we'll see. Uh, we can't steal tech from Babylon. Babylonian is marching surprise attack, but we don't know against who. It's plotting against Ramses. Oh, that's great, actually. Let's share that. I mean, they might also be plotting against me. And Heliopolis would be a little bit vulnerable if that happened. Um, I should actually move back with this artillery, something like that. Um, and then I'll move this other one as well, and we'll put this guy on the hill. So Heliopolis would be a little bit vulnerable, but not that vulnerable. We've got a lot of range that would be able to take some great pot shots at all of them. Excellent. So, oh, Wittenberg. Yes, what kind of relations are we now? We are at 81 of 30. We're still 83 goddamn short of Babylon. What a natural wonder. Hmm. It would be handy to have them, but we don't have to rush to this. Um, assuming Babylon's not going to declare war on me, and I don't think Heliopolis is particularly vulnerable, then uh, we can wait for Wittenberg uh, to become our ally to when we actually want to go for Babylon itself. Although we will have, we'll, 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 bleh, we will want to flip them at some point. If nothing else, to deny them an ally. Uh, we finished that, which is great, and now what we should probably do, although we have an, a good amount of happiness already, but we will need more as we take over more cities. Um, it would be nice to get a little bit more happiness, and certainly building more castles would be uh, handy. Although, actually, do we get a castle for free here? No, we don't. Does this count as a castle? Because gold, culture, and happiness from castles, like, it really does add up wonderfully, wonderfully. Oh, while I'm thinking about um, specialists, is it true... No, I have all my specialists there. Every night, like, I'm, I'm catching up to the comments on YouTube, like, the videos are getting posted, and people are pointing out, like, different things that I've forgotten to do, and I want to double-check that I haven't still forgotten some things. Stadium is being done there. Okay. Um, it actually may be a good opportunity to build some bombers here, even though... So we'd have to build walls, which at least are free, and only take one turn, and then follow that up with a castle. I believe that's the order. Um, and there's a lot of incentive to doing that, but I would also like to get the bombers going. Uh, we don't have a stadium here either. You know what, well, um, mm, do we fill in the blanks or do we go to war super fast? We've got the happiness, and the happiness is actually going to get better in a second, too. I actually, you know what I want to do? 
is I do want to get a couple of bombers going. Just maybe a couple for, if nothing else, defensive purposes. Um, yeah, I like that plan. We finished the hotel in Seoul, which is great. Now, Seoul actually generates a decent amount of stuff. It is a candidate potentially for an airport. But again, I will build the second bomber here. They won't have the experience boost, but we will have a couple, and I'm going to feel great. We actually don't have a huge military score right now either. We probably need to build a little bit more um, infantry units as well. I don't know. Wittenberg calls for faith. Most faith, which actually might be us. We completed... Oh, they wanted us to build the, uh, the castle. They also want uh, gifting. Okay, that's good to note. We actually might be able to flip a few of these. Ur is very, well, it's still angry, actually. They're allied with Babylon, which we're not really going to do much about right now. We're no longer denounced by Polynesia. Hooray. Ramses has made peace with Shaka. That's unfortunate, but not really killing us in any way. Um, more opera houses and whatever. I think uh, this being one of our largest cities, it has more room for local happiness. I'm actually going to go ahead and build the walls and castle. Uh, I, I'm not really worried about the Zulus trying something on me, but it's always a possibility, so we may as well do that. Gatling gun, we are just going to uh, auto-wake up when the opportunity shows. And yeah, these um, these pew-pew guns can all move over here. All right. You... Yeah, I like having these trading posts. Some people are like, why don't you build mines here? Well, this is my science city, and it's got some pretty sick science multipliers. So um, it seems like a good idea to get the extra beakers. I can sort of see reasons to build farm or to build mines as well, but um, because we do produce things here, obviously. But I think the extra beakers are going to pay off okay. And next turn. God, our score is good. It's mostly a question of how quickly we can win the game. And domination is a little slower. Um interesting i would actually be in favor of mutual open borders well then no because it's actually going to just apply more tourist pressure one way which is not what i want okie dokie all right cancel everything i said um oh and actually we got just like completely insta attack there obviously we're going to do the upgrade right away that is a lot of units coming towards heliopolis can i purchase some defensive buildings because I think we may need it. Do we have? Oh, we already have a castle here. Oh, well, that's not bad at all, actually. Then what I may want to do actually is move the artillery out and build another melee unit, rush by it. I do have one though. And moving the artillery out would cross a river, would cost me a turn of bombarding. You know, no, I, I let's just start shooting people. We are going to set up and set up. I'm happy I moved the uh, the artillery back, actually. Oh. I'll go and grab that kill. It'd be different if I had roads back here, but I don't. Hmm. Um, that's going to be a really exposed Great War infantry. And I'm not sure there's a good place to actually put it. Because it's going to take the river crossing. It's going to take a little damage, not much, but then it w yeah, it will definitely be killed in a return. So you know what I'm going to do is actually... Is Ur at war with me? Yeah. I'd like to protect the worker. I suppose I'm going to have to do that. And fortify here for a sec. Um, Caravan, does anyone want trade sent to them? Manila. Where is Manila? way over here. That's not really feasible unless I send it to Heliopolis. And that's it. So Ur, Sophia, and Brussels. And those are actually starting to be kind of semi-relevant actually. Um, hmm. Just having a sip of coffee here. Let me think. Military units? Maybe. Oh, we were, were lining up to build a castle here, which still seems like a decent idea. Stadium finished here. We've certainly got a lot of happiness. Uh, the East India Trading Company at some point has to get built, but I'm not sure that point is now. Let's build some more bombers, contribute to the war effort, stadium finished here. Let's go ahead and build the castle. We may actually be um, on top of uh, what we need, but it does build really fast. In terms of, I meant um, we might hit our peak 
um, local happiness there, but we'll try it anyway. I'm not going to move you then. I'm just going to sort by highest gold and actually consider... You know what? Oh, yeah, we get the uh, the production bonus as well because of uh, one of our ideologies, right? I'm going to move you to Texcoco and send hammers there. Let me double check what the status of things are. We're actually going to pop another one, well, next turn, but potentially even faster, which is culture gain. We've got the Iron Curtain. Yes, yeah, so we get 50% more food and production, which, of course, normally it's six, but we get nine. Uh, enemy units, this... My city-states declared war, which is good. I'm happy Vatican City's still on my side here. Yeah, we lost that Gatling gun right away. And, oh my god, our great prophet got captured. Hell, that may have been what prompted it to do that. And we lost an artillery by Ur. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Okay. This, oh, that's my cavalry that's still exploring things. Excellent. Which might still find us that last missing world wonder. Uh, Brussels, Brussels. Wittenberg. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. I just sucked up to Wittenberg, and now they've just flipped. That's actually really annoying. Remember when I was saying it's not necessarily a product? Mutual embassies. Sure, let's do that. I'm actually worried about uh, people dogpiling on me at this point. Like, I can manage this up until there's a dogpile, and then I might be screwed. Uh, sorry, this caused the divide. Yeah, this is, uh, this is potentially problematic. So, okay, let's hit the ones that are the healthiest. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was supposed to kill them. It looked like it should have killed them. And the city does the least amount of damage, so we'll actually finish that guy off like that. Um, I should maybe be going for the kills. No, the, the weakening is probably more important. Actually, the attacking of the artillery. Well, as long as we kill all their melee units, they can't take this city no matter what happens. So we should focus on that. That is not as much damage as I want. We can try to put in order. Um, I think that people are mostly going to block the order cho choice. So I'm going to bet that it'll be easier for me so I don't think order is going to go through regardless, and I'm thinking it's going to be more important to block Buddhism as a world religion. So I'm going to commit all my people to there. Uh, castle finished. Good. So we're far away from finishing the airport, which means we can't really ship most things over. So I think we're just going to keep going with bombers. And a new social policy. So... We could grab something at the low end here. Um, a patriotic war. Bonus to attack when fighting in friendly territory is actually a great time right now. Uh, we're actually pretty good on happiness. And the National Wonders thing mostly just means like one or two cities will get a lot more local happiness. Um, cheaper buildings is nice. We could also go for... We could go into some honor stuff. Get gold for every unit killed. Can purchase great generals with faith. It's kind of handy. The patronage might help. Uh, more faith. None of these things are bad. Plus, the bonus gold from science buildings is nice. Research remit bonus is not important. And completing this gives us free technology. I think we should actually work on rationalism now. And we can buy great scientists with faith. Seems like a great way to go. So I think what we're going to do is start going down the rationalism tree. Even though the research remit bonus does not assist us. Um, Babylon is plotting against Korea. There we go. Let's let's get more people against them. I wonder if we can bribe anyone. Probably not. But it would be actually very handy. Tell you what, would you like to declare war on Babylon? No, no way. What about Egypt? Is there any chance you can declare war on Babylon? No. Oh man, that would have helped so much. You over here. Insta-kill this barbarian. Get a tiny bit of culture from that. And um, you can probably go back to auto-explore, which I think is what you were doing, and I'm fine with that. Okay, not having those frontline fighters is really, really bad. Am I being bombarded? Oh, I could be bombarding, being bombarded from Ur, which would be bad. Is this still the same turn? Why hasn't my worker moved? Is he building something? 
I still want to protect the worker, so I guess I've got to sit there. Heliopolis might fall really fast. Luckily, it does have the wall in the castle. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. And they have a decent... I think I'm just going to lose Heliopolis. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's go for the easy kill there. Um... Well, let's see if we can kill this one. And we can't. That is really, really unfortunate. Yeah, and we'll kill another melee unit, although I think we're just going to lose the city. I suppose I could have, like, moved the artillery out in front just to draw some fire or something. Um, infantry is not bad. Research lab is pretty good. The, the super tanks also, but we can upgrade to those later. I think I want to go and get plastics. I think we might actually be in poor shape. Okay, Inquisitor got purchased, which is great. I don't want to get another one of those. I'll pick, um, actually, I'll go to Remind Me later. We might actually be able to just save up for a great scientist at this point. I'm not sure. Okay, Worker. Like, Worker is kind of just screwed. To the point where I'm thinking of just disbanding him so that he can't be captured. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. This infantry is still being bombarded. I've got to go for this, though. Deny a little bit more melee opportunity. So, order was not passed. Mo a lot of people nade that. Buddhism was not passed. Most people nade that as well. Okay, so that, that worked out okay. We may have not We needed to worry. We couldn't have gotten the order passed, though. So, uh, we did get a great general here, which is very interesting. I'm not sure what I could do about that. Although, I could set up... Actually, I think I'm... Why is it so slow? I was going to say, I could build a um, citadel right here making sure I keep a pocket of actual territory over here. Seriously, why can't I move there? Movement of two, there's a road. Oh, it's been pillaged! Oh, so moving there will just end my turn, which is really double plus ungood. I guess I'll just leave the uh, the general here then. If I lose the city, I lose him. It sucks, but maybe the plus 15% will come into play in some fashion. Next turn, come on... Come on. Well, if I lose Heliopolis, which I did, all right, then it becomes very obvious that my next move has to be to fight actual Babylon at this point. So that sucks. Okay, castle is done. I don't think, well, we do need an airport here. We actually produced uh, quite a lot of specialists and things. Hotel, airport, um, probably the hotel first, actually. We can get super lots of promotion in rough terrain, which is handy. And shoot at that guy and shoot at that guy. I mean, we'll take, we'll do what damage we can while we wait, and then rebase mode. And I don't know why it doesn't visually give you, like, show you what your rebase mode is. So we're gonna have to plow through Wittenberg and not keep it. Like, I wish when you took a city state over, you, one of the options could just be to like release it but, like, force them to break all their alliances or something like that, and reset the relations or something like that. Like a super puppet government. Would be very, very, very handy. Uh, we'll rebase you to Seoul. But I suppose that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, the Inquisitor, your job is to move to Honolulu. So do that. I'm just going to automate this worker now. Choose production. We've completed a bomber. We're probably going to need more of those. We're going to need... Um, land ships and things too, but that's what Texcoco's job is going to be. It's about to finish the Kremlin, it can build those faster, and I want some, a couple more bombers. Airport finished here. Um, God, that's so annoying. Hmm. Infantry's not bad, but I think we just actually want more land ships. I'm going to go ahead and build a one-turn barracks here before we start building those units. Lost our great general. Lost Heliopolis. Although we get a lot more happiness now. We can actually um, allow growth maybe in some of these smaller cities now. Again, I, I want to leave a pretty big gap of happiness so that, uh, well, first of all, we're making a little bit of progress towards the Golden Age again, which is always kind of handy. Um, People's Court, I would like you to grow. So we need extra happiness space just because we are going to... Um, to be taking more cities. And of course, we can't turn off growth in our puppets either, so they're going to grow no matter what. Uh, we're going to share intrigue with you. Because people keep plotting things. 
Oh, it was really annoying though. Heliopolis was going to be a really key city. Hmm. I don't know. I'm actually going to put a cut in here and consider exactly what I want my next move to be. I suppose we can take another round of attacks here. Finish the Kremlin and we can adopt the scientific revolution. And again, the research agreements doesn't help, but uh, free technology and purchase of great scientists is actually quite lovely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finish the Kremlin. So your job basically until the end of time is to build tanks and land ships and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Finish the barracks and that's gonna be good enough for a promotion. I'm not gonna bother going up to the armory. Um, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of infantry because I think the land ships are like cavalry in that they will not get, yeah, no defensive terrain bonus. They're pretty good on the attack, but you do want a couple of infantry kicking around here. Choose more production, a bomber has finished. I'm debating putting an airport right in here so we can have ma maximum bombers. Make it a little bit easier to take out Wittenberg faster. Yeah, you know what, it's got some culture as well. We even built a hotel here. Yeah, go ahead with the airport. It adds up, but what the heck. Um, I think I'm going to use this to unlock the most expensive thing I can. Although it's very tempting to pick up combined arms and start producing tanks. Actually, I think it might be slightly more relevant. Uh, Mobile Sam, we don't really have to worry about that. The rocket artillery is very strong. Very, very strong. But now that we've got bombers, it's slightly less important. You know what? I will go for combined arms. And over here, don't build, don't build land ships. Oops. Don't add to Q either. Just change production. And go straight to tanks. We've sunk... Actually, we didn't even sink a turn into it. It hasn't started building it yet. Good. Excellent. Oh, that works out very, very well. Bomber? Can you bomb the city? Nope. What? What's going on? Is it... Oh, airstrike mode. Why is it not B? Why has it got to be like that? Um, oh, I need vision. I need vision where I bomb. I can't do a recon move or anything like that. Uh, then I guess that's that's the turn then. You just sit tight for now. Babylon Babylon is plotting against everyone. Oh my god. Well, we'll take that shot because we can. Um, I'm thinking about just pillaging here. I don't know, we may be able to get a kill on another unit. Actually, I'm going to take a shot at the... Uh, uh, we're hardly going to do anything. You know what? Go for the pillage. Yeah, the derp. Do both. Why not both? Go there, because he might move in against my machine guns at this point. Uh, Babylonian privateer is a problem. Oh, God, it ate all my movement there from these damn ships. Mm, bomber, you got nothing to do. Why are you prompting me? Okay, that's it for the turn. Um, it's not a great development, let's be honest. But, uh, well, we're going to roll with the punches. What can we do? See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.